Hello, day three, and today um, we're going to talk about the study I did for a piece called Trees in a Field by Homer Dodge Martin. Um, really simple type of picture. In fact, I wasn't even aware. Uh, I probably just collected this online somewhere, the original reference. I wasn't even aware that it was a really good reproduction of it in this book uh, called uh, a History of American Tonalism by David A. Cleveland. Like I said, we're going to be hitting this book up a lot. I'm going to read a, a chapter um, that uh, basically uh, sort of touches on this painting. By the mid-1870s, Martin was already under the sway of Corot and presumably his studio mate and friend John Lafarge had encouraged his acquaintance with the French Barbizon master. Martin also must have been well acquainted with Lafarge's delicate and nuanced tonal landscapes of Newport. Something of Lafarge's delicate touch is found in Trees in the Field, circa 1875. This is actually, the original was a 9 by 12, by the way, so I have that information because I have that book here. Um, a meditative landscape of echoing tree forms and soft-edged tonal planes. The place has the feel of the known and habitual, perhaps a private stopping place, and displays Martin's growing interest in these years for more intimate scenes. Over the course of the 1870s, Martin began limiting details in his landscapes. His fracture, fracture refers to brush strokes, by the way. His fracture was both supple and delicate, his sense of tone more rarefied. In doing so, he was heavily criticized for painting under the French influence and being unpatriotic. Very interesting they would say that, because prior to this era, it was the Hudson River school guys with all their intensive detail. Um, it looks like it may have been, uh, this one went pretty quick, so we're getting close to the end. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my work, it's landscapepainter.co.nz, and I will be updating that site. Um, enjoy the video, uh, I hope you're enjoying the video, and uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow on day four. Stay out of trouble, and take care. Mm -hmm.